People, the the people who defend CRT will say they are like they they are they are distorting what it really is. Is that true? I don't think. I think everybody is pissed off because they know exactly what it is. No, they're not distorting anything, and we all know the stories that are coming out of schools. I mean, I have uh, a girl that I used to babysit for who's in high school, and the things that they're teaching them, you know, on a day of school, and I'm being serious here, on a day of school, they're meant to go around the classroom, and if you have white skin, you're supposed to tell them why you feel guilty about having white skin. This is in New York City, by the way. Mm -hmm. Why you feel guilty that your skin is white. I cannot comprehend that. That's incomprehensible to me, because when I was growing up, we never talked about color because we didn't see it. Mm -hmm. What they're trying to do is systematically program children to see color because they want them to eventually become activists and they want them to hate one another. Mm -hmm. they, they see an opportunity in division. If you can teach them to be divided young, then you can turn them into activists and angry people that become Antifa marchers when they're older. Mm. I'm still thinking about what it would be like to have you as a babysitter. <laughs> you know, um, so, so what, what, what should... Your parent, how do you get the, how do you get rid of this stuff? Like if you're just parents, I mean, like you go and you show up at these meetings and then you you go viral. But does that does that start? I mean, how does somebody fight this stuff? I would you know, I I, have, I don't have kids, so it's like it's, I don't have to worry about this stuff. Yeah, well, I will tell you this. That's the number one question that I get on the road. Parents to go, what do I do? What do I do? And I look back at them and I get kind of angry because I'm, I'm like, listen to what you're asking me. You're asking me what you should do with your child when a, when a predator is at bay, mm -hmm. right? I mean, the, the concept that you're asking what you should do when somebody is trying to harm your child, because that's what's going on in these classrooms, whether it's the pornography that's being taught, the critical race theory that's being taught, the classroom environment has become predatorial. And you're asking me what you should do. What would you do if any predator went after your child? You would yank them out of the school. You would fight tooth and nail to make sure that they were not exposed to this stuff. I just want to remind any parent that is watching this show, you are the parent, not the government, not the teachers. You are the parent, and you should always make sure that your children are not becoming prey. Mm, that's a very good point. I got one more <laughs> applaud. Why do they always applaud more for the guests than they applaud for me? <laughs> Maybe that having an audience was a bad idea. Um, you, I love your Twitter feed because you go after people in such a strong and independent way, mainly because, I mean, it's so obvious, like, you, you've got nothing to lose, and, and, and I, I guess you would do that anyway. What, you've been pretty hot on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Uh, I, should I just, what are your thoughts on them? Oh, so many thoughts. Yeah, you know, I actually, as far from thinking that I have nothing to lose, I have an entire country to lose, and that's well, why I points. say whatever I want, you know. Good um, regarding, regarding Harry and Meghan. Thank you. I love this audience. Yeah.